Hey, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa, and in this video, I'm going to show you one way on clearing up a cloudy pool. So this is a friend's pool, and I'm going to go ahead and clear this up for her. Um, I live in Florida, and we've had some really torrential downpours, uh, so it kind of bottomed a lot of the readings out. So uh, I went ahead and took the readings. Now, before you go out and run to the pool store and get all kinds of flocks and algaecides and clarifiers and phosphate removers and everything else like that, be sure that you take your readings because that's going to dictate how you clear up your water. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the readings that I got. Okay, so these are the readings. Uh, chlorine is at 2.0 pH. It came up actually at 7.6. Um, the alkalinity was at 130, so I put a little bit of acid in there, it got it down to 80, but then because of the three days of rain, it dropped again to 50, and then the calcium harness 280 and the cyanic acid is at 40. So the first thing that I'm going to do before um, I shock the pool or anything is I want to get that total alkalinity up to around 80 to 100 parts per million. That's the range is, is 80 to 100. What I want to do is start at 80 right now and then uh, work my way up. So I have my bag of Arm & Hammer baking soda here. Uh, this is the exact same stuff that you get at the uh, pool store, uh, either pH up or alkalinity up. It's going to be either sodium carbon or sodium bicarb. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take out um, eight ounces right now. Now it's uh, one pound per 10,000 gallons to increase the alkalinity 10 parts per million. So what I'm going to do is do this um, incrementally. I'm going to put one pound in right now and then come back and um, shock the pool. So that's, I'm just going to drop it right in there, right in here in the deep end. I'm going to do another one. Just put it right in there, allow it to float to the bottom, uh, and then uh, instead in about two hours, I'm going to come back and shock the pool. Um, you don't, I don't, I don't want to shock it right now uh, because you don't want to put one chemical on top of the other. You want to wait until you know about two, three hours in between applications. So we'll be back. So it's been about about uh, three, four hours now since I put the bicarb in, and I'm going to go ahead and shock the pool. Now this is a, about a 17,000 gallon pool, but I'm going to treat it as a 20,000 gallon. Uh, it is one gallon per 10,000 gallons to increase the chlorine uh, 10 parts per million. So uh, I'm just going to use probably about maybe two, I might even go up to two and a half gallons of chlorine, put in this pool, try to get rid of that cloudiness. Because chlorine is heavier than water, uh, I need to sweep very well. So make the adjustment in the evening and then let it filter for 24 hours. Uh, it's about 5 o'clock right now, so I'm going to check this tomorrow morning. And maybe you can hear that famous Florida thunder and lightning. Check it tomorrow and see what happens. So the filter has been going for about 48 hours now. Uh, it's a cartridge filter, so I spray that out a couple times. And this is what is left. So again, before you go out and you spend hundreds of dollars at the pool store on flocks, algaecides, clarifiers, phosphate removers, super flocks, pool first aid, pool RX, and all of that stuff, understand your pool chemistry and know just how to make simple adjustments, allow the filtration system to do its job. Okay, just hang on. Come on. My daughter wants me to take her swimming, so that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, um, check out the description box below, link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. Like, subscribe, and comment here. And if you want a personal pool consultation, please just check or uh, tick the box right there. Click on that, and you can talk to me personally so your pool can look this good. So. And there's my daughter. I'm going to swim with her. Have a great day. It's a beautiful day in Florida. See ya.